I just wanted to revisit on the you made a statement about Javante Davis. Um, seeing the fact that, you know, some of his teammates might not say he might move to 147, he might go back down to 135. How realistic do you think you can actually get a Javante St. Davis fight? If you perform a great performance against a big fighter like Ivan, why would he take that fight? Um, at the end of the day, they know, you know, me and him got history already. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. And I feel like he need to take the fight. I mean, you know, everything makes sense. Once, I, you know, we get through Ivan, put on a great performance, there's no way they can deny. You know what I mean? Once we get a title eliminator or whatever it takes, because that night, it'll put me in the top 15 in the world. You know what I mean? So, you know, if I got to, like I said, go through the steps and become a title eliminator, get, you know, get through that, and then, you know, it's going to happen. Is it a little personal experience, or was, you know, just, you know, the whole situation in the past, you know? You say, is it what, personal? Between you and Tank? Uh, no, nah, like, right now, like, it's no static, no beef, anything like that. Right now, it's all business. Right now, he came up to my weight. He got a title. Congratulations on that. Now, if he, whether he keep it or not, that's on him. But if he do keep it, we want the fight. Mm. Um, you know, it was a bad job. What's good, YouTube? Tonight. It's your boy, uh, KB. The fight Justin was just getting ready to start a break. I was turning to a dog fight. And I want to send a big shout out like to wanted, everybody you know, that's been rocking with the channel. Trying to get him in them late rounds and, you know, let him shoot his wide. Uh, you know, obviously, the, the referee. T family, we growing. If this your first time on the channel, man, do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop new content. As I drop new content daily, every day. Salute to everybody that's pulling up. Well, let's get into it, man. As we all know, you know, last night was the return of Montana to Pretty Love. And, you know, everybody was going, you know, I thought everybody, all eyes was going to be on Montana Love because we seen, you know, he had a couple shaky performances, had a, a fight where he missed weight real bad. So, you know, all eyes were on him. And not only that, he was having a you know a homecoming fight in his hometown of Cleveland. So you know, like I said, all eyes was on him. He brought a lot of people out, and this fight definitely just didn't play out the way I thought it would play out. You know, Montana Love came into this fight undefeated. You know, eighteen and no with one draw with the nine knockouts, and you know I thought this would be an opportunity for him to show exactly what he got show the boxing world exactly what he was made of and it just turned out horribly and as y'all can see in the clip that i just played you know it was him and steve spark going over the top ropes and a lot of people felt like it was just a, you know it was justified to disqualify disqualify him and then you got some that felt like you know the referee should have at least took a point being is that you know steve spark was able to land when he fell outside the ring. He was he didn't hurt himself. He was able to get right back in the ring. So a lot of people felt like the fight should have continued just off of that alone. But you know, the action was back and forth action. But for the early part, you know, um, Steve Spark was putting hands on Montana Love, especially early. Man, he had he had, he had to you know weather an early storm. He got dropped in the second round. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Steve Spark came into the fight 15 and 2 with 14 knockouts. You know, he only had one win that wasn't by way of knockout. And his only lone knockout defeat came at the hands of Tim Zhu, where he jumped up to 154 pounds. Why? I don't know. The challenge, the undefeated Tim Zhu, and was knocked out in three rounds. Other than that, he has a, a majority decision loss in his second professional fight. You know, but, you know, so outside of that, this guy has been winning. So he's relatively unknown, but he obviously has some some good punching power. He was able to knock love down the second round. And then it was a clash of heads, I believe, that took place in the sixth round, which which seen us, you know, uh, we seen that Montana Love have a nice gash over his eye. And we immediately heard him say he was good. Then he went from saying he was good till he couldn't see. A lot of people felt like he was taking the easy way out. Tank Davis, for one, as y'all seen in the early clip, he mentioned he had some choice things to say to Montana Love. He said he took the easy route out. He took the easy way out in terms of like throwing Steve Spark over the rope. Now, for me, for one, I don't think he threw him over the ropes. I think emotions and tension was uh, boiling over and the cut made uh montana love react out of character but I, at the same time i don't think he was trying to throw him over the ropes that's why i slowed the clip down for y'all so y'all let me know what y'all think but all in all this was a rough homecoming fight for montana love 
you know he left a lot to be desired you know he got a lot of, he's gonna face a lot of criticism and some of it is gonna be justified and i said this before i think his um his willingness to try to be such an entertainer outside of the ring i think is starting to affect his performances inside of the ring and that's just my opinion i think he's very skilled very talented you obviously can see that from the fight last night even though it was a rough fight for him i felt like steve spark was slowing down and montana love was starting to pick it up just a bit you know up until the head clash and then you know you know uh steve spark going over the top rope but lucky for him fortunately for him he was able to get right back in the ring and he wasn't hurt in that situation it could have got ugly but i think the react the referee reacted far too uh emotionally too quick with ending the fight you know and disqualifying Mon montana love giving him his first loss of his career so it was a terrible uh turnout overall in terms of a homecoming you know like i said he's gonna face a ton of criticism people are feeling like you know he took the easy way out like I said, Tank Davis has some things to say. You know, they got history, as y'all seen in that sparring clip that I played. But, you know, he got to show us something. He says he's going to um, run it back. So I'm here for it. I want to see it. I think the fight was definitely competitive. I definitely think he's a better fighter than Steve Spark, despite how that fight played out. I feel like he has better skill set, and I just felt like he got caught with some shots, you know what I mean, that kept him honest and – he got dropped. He weathered that storm. He did get up and he kept fighting. He didn't fight timid, but a lot of people just didn't respect the performance and how he behaved after he got cut in terms of, you know, him. Some people felt like he intentionally threw Steve Spark over the ropes. Me, myself, I'm not one of them. I don't think he did that. I do think he was a bit emotional, though, from the cut and things like that and getting knocked down and it being a homecoming fight. A lot of emotions and things like that were on the line. We were running high, so... You know, hopefully, like he said, he's going to run it back. Hopefully, Eddie Hearn makes that rematch immediately. He said he's going to do it right back in his hometown of Cleveland, which will be good for him to be able to kind of right this wrong and, um, you know, leave a better impression on people instead of what they seen him losing his first fight by disqualification. That's my thoughts on it, man. Y'all get in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And do y'all think love can beat steve spark should it should it be a rematch do you think the disqualification was justified or do you think they should have allowed the fight to continue and as always get in the comment section and let me know if i gave steve spark and that boy montana love their just do because that's what i do over here just do boxing until the next one i'm out peace